all right so this is part two so i now am driving home in crazy traffic it would, would take me normally maybe an hour because the jersey city is where i was coming from and you have to get through bayonne to get to Jersey city whatever and the traffic was crazy i was good with that i just buckled in i'm driving with one hand that's not unusual and you know whatever so i'm thinking i need a drink and i don't even drink like that and i said i was gonna stop and i'm thinking okay Get some port wine and pour it over your ice cream because that's a, a special thing that I like in case you're interested. Hey, doggy, That's my dog piece barking about something. I'm coming to get you, boo. Get you some port wine. Pour it over your butter pecan ice cream. That was my favorite. That is my favorite. And it gives you like a creamy buzz and you're not drunk or anything. So what did I say? So um, I get the wine. I don't know. I don't get the wine, but I'm thinking... I am not walking into the liquor store with a sling on my arm, a hospital bracelet, okay, and uh, a, a band-aid where blood was drawn. Because the first thing people are gonna think, not that I care because I don't know you, ha! Ah! I don't know you and you are irrelevant. This is the head, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I'm gonna tell you, these are my thoughts out loud. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm thinking because you get to curse in your thoughts, which is probably not nice, it's still cursing, but I'm thinking, somebody's gonna think, this is the fuck, why are you all bandaged up now? Drinking. You should not be in a liquor store with a sling on your arm to hold up what's left of your shoulder as you contemplate the orthopedic surgeon they're going to send you to in case you need an MRI if the pain don't go away and a hospital bracelet with your age on it and a band-aid where they obviously took blood. But the blood that was taken was taken from a doctor's appointment that I just left to go deliver the goddamn turkey. So I'm like, you left one doctor's office in one county. You go to, you leave your house in one county. You go to another county to get, go to the doctor that was scheduled. Then you go to the, another, another county to deliver a turkey and wind up in another city of that county in the hospital over a goddamn free turkey. Now you're in the liquor store buying some liquor. They're going to say, this woman needs to sit herself the down that's why she's got the brace i said nope so i had to call my people and say okay who's my people that will go in the store and represent so i don't have to and i did find one of my people you know who you are i love you so uh my other people have other issues like some people don't want to go and they won't go to liquor stores they won't buy cigarettes i respect that you know it's like i'm sending you for crack but if you think cigarettes are crack or liquor i'm good i'm not going to force you to go get my crack no i don't do crack I'm just making a crack. And he takes care of me. And I'm good. I love you. Thank you. Um, and I get home. Oh, he says, don't get too drunk. And I say, that's not what this is for. And my brother called while I was in the car. And we uh, talked about, no, we don't get drunk like that or at all. But I told him what I was going to do with it. And he kind of looked at me like, do people do that? Yes, dude, they do. And you know who you're talking to or with. I put red wine or port wine over butter pecan ice cream and I think it's very good and it gives you a good creamy buzz and I like it so you should try it uh, so with that being said I got as I start to drive away it starts to sleet I said you know what I I'm getting myself in my house my sister calls and she says she doesn't even want any turkey she's pissed off that people are effing were her sister I said yeah I'm done with turkey I don't want turkey roll. I don't want sliced turkey, turkey breast, turkey wings, turkey thighs, turkey. If I see your mama and your father, Tom, I will kick their ass because I'm done with you. It's over. I've officially crossed over on fucking turkey. Now I got to do something. Maybe that's one of the flesh things. I'm going to go away from flesh meats and the turkey is the beginning because we used to like you. Me and you were cool. Turkey, you and I were cooler than the cucumber. I don't want to see a turkey. I see... If I see a turkey, you could be free if you want to be. But you just cost me like a co-payment and only God knows what else they bill you and you can't argue. And this little raggedy, little thin thing here is choking the living crap out of me. Now I got to go and get some medicine and to see the orthopedic surgeon for MRI for the bruises, this thing around my neck. At least I could walk into Rite Aid or one of these, these drug stores and get bandages and stuff and won't look so bad rather than walk into the liquor store to get liquor after you got some injury. That's such an oxymoron. People are going to talk about you or they're going to put you on YouTube and people are quick to take a video of you. You look crazy. People pull out their phones. You could be choking on a chicken bone. You can be choking on a whole chicken. 
You could be choking on a turkey. People will pull their phones out and take a picture of your ass with the big turkey legs hanging outside of your neck before they help you. <laughs> Uh, needless to say, I forgot to mention this caveat. My daughter, my nephew, and my other nephew didn't think, let me ride with her in case she collapses in the car. Even if we don't drive, she's not by herself. They're staring at me like, I think they're wondering, she's boo-hoo crying. Oh, I was hurting. I think I would have wanted, it's like I had just had a baby push out. That's how quick the, like somebody bludgeoned my shoulder with, oh my God. And I have home. I am, I've made it home. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you to the creator. I, 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 uh, Turkey, you and I, it's over. I don't love you anymore. It's just that simple. Peace.